So in a sense, we're working backwards in this video. So sometimes when you're learning quadratic formula, this is a problem that is presented. So you can see here, we're given the solution, okay, of the quadratic equation, okay, written in the form of the quadratic formula. But we're trying to go back to the original quadratic equation, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, uh, a number of equations here to solve for our a, b, and c values, okay? So we can see, first of all, that two is equal to negative b. So let's make an equation. Negative b is equal to positive two. If we divide both sides by negative one, you can see that b equals negative two. Now, look at the denominator now. See how we have 2a is equal to 6? So if we divide both sides by 2, you can see that a is equal to 3. And then the last thing that we're trying to solve for here is the c value. And notice what's underneath the square root here, b squared minus 4ac, that's equal to negative 8. So what we can do is we can substitute now negative 2 in for b, a is equal to 3, c we don't know, and that's equal to negative eight. So we've got negative two squared is four, minus 12c equals negative eight. Subtract four from both sides of the equation. We've got negative 12c equals negative 12. And if we divide both sides by negative 12, you can see that c is equal to positive one. So now if we put it all back together, we've got three x squared minus two x plus one is equal to zero. And that's the original uh, quadratic equation that when you solve it using the quadratic formula will give you these two solutions here. So if you want to see more examples working with quadratic formula, check out the videos I did right there and I'll see you over in those videos. I'll talk to you soon.